guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be liked by many because i'm going to show you guys how i was able to get eight job offers in a span of about two weeks so first off i know most of you have been asking me that oh how do you get these warehouse jobs how do you get these jobs like you're always working how do you get all these jobs so if you've already watched my um Cora video you will know that i'm no more working with Cora's breakfast so i've been looking for a job for about two weeks now and it's been so so difficult at the start but once they started coming in i was overwhelmed i didn't even know which one to choose so i started looking for a job where i get my jobs are mostly on indeed so if you are new in canada i recommend even before you come you start applying on indeed and <clears throat> another trick that people don't know is you can work in with your resume i do that all the time i work in with my resume all the time i go to the shops the restaurants i have cvs i've printed i can show you guys some all these this is my resume so i have I've printed a couple of them that i go around and then give them to restaurants shops on campus i go to the food services i like working with um, food services so it all depends on you and what you want to do so let me start with the first job i got that was the warehouse but I quit that one because it was too tiring. So the number of jobs I've got, I'm going to list them. I'm going to add them to the description box or on the screen. Yes, currently I'm working at Starbucks as a barista. And then I'm working at front of house and back of house at Living Sky Cafe. So I have two jobs I'm doing now, but I rejected six of them because they didn't come early. So living sky cafe with that one i didn't apply on indeed i went to the restaurants on one friday and i gave them my resume i asked for the supervisor I said i'm looking for your supervisor because sometimes when you give it to the those in front i know they throw it away like they don't do anything with it so i went to the supervisor and i told her i'm looking for a job and then she took my resume so at 3 p.m on friday i got a call from the owner that they've received my resume and she would like to schedule an interview so can i come the following week friday i was like why not so they called me for an interview and she told me monday i'm going to get the job <clears throat> so i went for that friday that i went for that interview was the same friday i went for the starbucks i think yeah i had those two interviews in a day and they all told me i was, I was going to hear from them on monday and on monday i heard from both of them so i was like i'm going to do the two of them because they they like they came at me really fast unlike the ones that i applied a long time ago and they were not minding i think after they do their interviews and they realize that they are not getting what they want then they come back into the pool to look for some of us so the number of those i got with when the warehouse one at um, prolator a merchandiser job they sent me a message that i should come in for an interview but i told them i already got a job she was like okay cool then i got another job as a pharmacy assistant but it was also a night shift from 9 p.m to 5 a.m at 5 a.m i'm not going to get a bus and i'll have to walk so i told them i can do it and it's a full-time job I told them i can do it then i got another one at a baker but sometimes when i'm applying for the jobs one mistake i do is i don't check the location not knowing the baker thing was like two hours from me and how can i go for go that far for a job so i didn't go they it may message me on indeed but i didn't go then best buy that one tried i couldn't go for the interview because of class and then i got another one at hudson's pub as a cook now he called me and like hi chelsea i received your in um, your resume a couple of weeks ago i'm sorry you've not heard from me can you come in for an interview i didn't respond because i sent you uh, my resume months ago weeks ago and you didn't mind me so now you want me i don't want you so those are the jobs i have they are a lot and i rejected some and now i'm just working with two so my advice to you 
who if you are already in Canada or wherever you are and you are applying online and you are not getting work in with your resume print your resumes and work in with them go there and give them your resumes tell them update your resume let it fit the job description mostly on indeed what i've heard is ai goes through your resume and ai even rejects some before the once they select it go to the manager so if your job description doesn't fit what the the job owner has described on indeed you are not going to get the job it, it will not even get to them like they won't get it do you understand they use ai to sort out your resume so you have to draft your resume to have some of the descriptions sometimes they put job descriptions responsibilities let your resume have some of those things or else ai will reject it do you understand yes and don't stop every night i apply to over 50 jobs before i sleep so i wasn't surprised they were coming in but i was overwhelming they were coming in they were like everyone was coming at me like that because i was applying i was i think i applied for like 300 jobs in that two weeks so why would people be coming at me i actually got another one as a farm there was i think it was on a farm you will go and um, harvest weed but that one i gave it to my friends i didn't do it because it was kind of like a man job and then there are certifications you should get if you want to work in canada there are some things that basic basic things that you should get like a smart set you want to serve alcohol if you have it like living sky cat when i went there, i told them i have a smart seven it was like yeah she saw it on my resume and that's really a good thing she wants me to work with their events sometimes so but at that place i work in the kitchen and on fridays they do events for weddings and all that so on fridays i work with their event team and that's not in the restaurant and it's always at an event center so when, if you want to work at a cannab um, cannabis store you should have a cancel that's also a certification all these certifications are not even expensive like 28 dollars 30 dollars you can pay it and it's online and if you can sit for like four three hours you can finish the course write your exams pass and get your certificate so me currently i have my smart serve and food handler certification yes i don't want to sell weeds i've not done my cancel and then you should have a first aid or cpr certification that one costs around 171 dollars i've not done that yet that one is if you want to work at a care with kids, the vulnerable, mental health people, youth should have a first aid or CPR certification. You can't work in these places if you don't have your first aid or CPR. I don't think it necessarily have to be first aid from Canada because I know someone that has gotten a job at, um, as an education assistant in a school and when they asked him where his, um, where his certification was, he said he had it in Ghana and he got a job. So if you have it in Ghana, because maybe it will be cheaper in Ghana or wherever you are, Nigeria or wherever you are before you come here, you can do it there and then bring it along. Because first aid is first aid, it doesn't expire. And then you have to, sometimes you have to do a criminal record check. I don't know. Sometimes when I, when, when I was working at the warehouse, they did that for me. Like all the jobs I've done in the warehouse, they usually do criminal record check because you are going to handle people's packages and they, they want to make sure you don't have any criminal record. Maybe you're a thief and all that. It's not all the time that the jobs do that for you. Sometimes they want you to they request that you have it done by yourself. Especially if you are going to work with a vulnerable sector, you should have a criminal record check. So you can do that online. I've never done that by myself because mostly the jobs do it for me. So I don't know how that one is done. So you can Google on it and know how it's done. So in all these I've said, if you have any question or if you don't understand anything, you can drop your comments below and I will reply you. What I've said is, work in with your resumes. Continue applying on Indeed. And there is also a website called Job, Job Bank Canada. So that one is, like I think it's official government of Canada website. So I don't usually apply there, like once a while. But mostly Indeed is where I apply my job. Because I don't know, that one feels faster for me. So if you want to be like me, get a lot of job offers. And then you, you have to choose what you want. Do what i said before you sleep at night apply to over 50 indeed it's easy like submit you submit because your resume is already there you change it you put one you have three jobs you've done over the past years you can remove one and let the other one fit the job description you are applying for you understand and then you submit it's, it won't take long um, it won't take that long you just have to be patient and have time for it. if you don't have time for it and you do it anyhow 
anyhow it's what you are going to get you're not even going to get a call and do all these certifications if you have like 200 dollars just make up your mind that oh i'm going to use this money to do my food handler certificate to do my smart save to do my cancel that is if you want to sell cannabis so if you want to work in a cannabis store you can do that one and then do your first aid or cpr first aid and cpr you understand so if you have all these things there you add it to your resume and indeed even jobs will be coming to you because you have set you have these certifications and mostly one thing about canada is mostly the requirements are must have a food handler certificate must have a cancel must have a valid driver's license that's the most annoying part they always want you to have a driver's license in canada sometimes some jobs if you don't have a driver's license you're not even going to get it it's really 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 crazy out here so <clears throat> i've told you guys how i got my jobs now it's up to you to also follow my footsteps apply to as many jobs as you want walk in with your resume don't be afraid when you go tell them you are looking for the manager you are looking for the supervisor because mostly those in front you give it to them they will throw it away because most times they are busy and they will tell you okay one thing about canada is everybody will smile to you so the fact that you're giving them your resume don't think oh i've given it to them they're going to give it to the manager they will throw it away tell them you are looking for the manager make it look serious so when the manager comes and you tell them you are looking for a job and then give them your resume you understand yes, don't give it to those at the front unless sometimes you don't want you to see the manager then you just give it to them and tell them that please give it to the manager so guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this short video this is how i got all my jobs if i find anything else i'll add the website for indeed and then job bank and then i'll act to i'll also try and look for the website for all these certifications and i'll add them to the description box and if you want to apply to um get any of these certifications you can just do them it doesn't cost much it's better you have it done and then you can add it to your resume it helps you it boosts your resume you can get jobs faster and as i said whenever you're applying for a job make sure that the job description in your resume matches what is on the job site because the eyes do the selection before it gets to the recruiter thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this short video let me know what you think and let me know what you want me to talk about in my next video i'm actually blank now i don't know what i'm going to post after this video next week, but i'll come up with something thanks for watching bye